Right, let's shift focus to the war in Ukraine now. And Russian installed officials in the occupied Ukrainian city of Kherson are preparing to defend it from an imminent Ukrainian attack. They've also urged civilians to flee as soon as possible. The commander of Russian forces in Ukraine says the situation in the southern region and the city of Kherson is, quote, very difficult. And the pro-Kremlin leader in Kherson says an estimated 10,000 people a day will be evacuated over the next six days and that some regions in Russia were preparing to offer them shelter. Take a listen. Under these conditions, our priority is preserving the life and health of peaceful citizens. Thus, first of all, the Russian army will provide for the already announced safe transportation of the population under the relocation program being prepared by the Russian government. Our further actions and plans regarding the city of Kherson itself will depend on the military tactics situation at hand. I will say this again, it's already very difficult as of today. Now, the Russian-installed deputy governor of the Kherson region is warning that a battle for the city could start in the very near future. Take a listen. I ask you to take my words seriously and to understand them as meaning as prompt an evacuation as possible. We are not going to surrender the city. We will hold our ground to the end. Meanwhile, Russian forces in the Kherson region have been driven back by 20 to 30 kilometers over the last couple of weeks or so. According to reports, they're now at risk of being pinned against the western bank of the 2,200 kilometer long Dnipro River in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the president of the European Commission says that Russia's missile and drone attacks on power stations and other infrastructure inside Ukraine are, quotes, acts of pure terror saying that they amount to war crimes.